This is one of the entrances to the Muslim quarter. So I've been here for a few days and uh, gonna have some more street food before I go home. So uh, the Chen Bing, they put a little chili sauce in there and uh, bean sauce. I wasn't sure about the chili sauce, so I just had the bean sauce. Onions, green onions. That looks like cilantro, I think. So this lady is pretty fast. I didn't even get a chance to pull out my camera properly. She's already finished. And then the uh, deep fried wonton and the lettuce. And it's, uh, it's the Kwai Chen, which is uh, roughly 40 cents Canadian. So pretty good snack for 40 cents. So that's my Jing Bin. Really good Jin Bing. Really crispy. Uh, with eggs and lettuce and bean sauce. So I just ate at this uh, Muslim restaurant. Uh, dumplings and some dessert for roughly four dollars Canadian. So it's quite tasty. You get ten for roughly four dollars Canadian. So they look pretty uh, plump. Be careful when you separate the um, dumpling. We don't want to break the skin so the juices will leak out. We we'll dip it in the uh, garlic vinegar sauce first. Mm. Very nice uh, with the fatty meat and the juices in the dumpling. So this uh, dessert is uh, kind of sweet. It's got a little bit of uh, fruit in there, but it has a bit of tartness. It's got different kind of uh, nuts and grains in there. Some of the ingredients are the same kind that my mother uses, but I just don't know the name of it. I've had the dried red dates, but th these might be fresh, so they could be uh, red dates. Beautiful broth. The beef is nicely spiced. So it's really uh, nice. When you're in CN, be sure to visit the Terracotta Warrior site. This is one of the eight wonders of the world. These Terracotta Warriors were discovered in 1974, and the site is about an hour from CN. Here you find over 8,000 soldiers of which 2,000 have been rebuilt. Biang Biang noodles are famous in Shanxi province in China. This is a restaurant that serves the famous Biang Biang noodles. Biang Biang Mian is a noodle dish that has been in existence for over 1,000 years. The Biang Biang noodles are named after the sound of the noodles banging against the table. The biang biang sound. The biang biang noodles are rolled into a wide strip. 
早上十点。十点。对，十点。我去飞机抢。Banging the noodles helps stretch the noodles. 你十点半飞机。Yeah. The Bian character has 62 strokes. It's the longest character in the Chinese language. Looks like a nice bowl of noodles. Here. They also serve the Bian uh, Bian Mian, which is the uh, Chinese longest character for the noodles. Nice thick noodles. With, uh, meat, some sauce there. So these noodles are like a about three feet long. So these noodles are like about three feet long here. I'm gonna give these noodles a try. The only reason Biang Biang noodles cost twice as much as these noodles is because of the famous name. You are here with me having the famous Biang Biang Mian here in Xi'an, China. The city of Xi'an is enclosed by four walls. So there's a main gate on the north wall, south wall, east wall, and west wall. The original city was actually a lot larger, so this uh, wall was built much later. This is uh, is it Huashang? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, it's peanut candy. I'll pick up some of this right now. Oh, the whole sheet goes over there. That la lada ma bulada, right? Uh, candy, I guess it's uh, looks like a uh, peanut brittle or peanut candy. You get the uh, two of them. Take a two shell chain. Two shell. Huh? Wu, Wu Kwai? No. Shi Wu. Shi Wu, 15. Okay. Shi Wu. It's uh, roughly uh, three three dollars Canadian. He knows me. Okay, so I'll pick up some right now. You uh, do how long? Three hours. Huh? Stretch it out to the street. So oh, it takes a lot of strength here, I guess. So I'm in the Muslim district here watching uh, the make uh, handmade candy. So different kinds of candies. So I just bought some, I had a little taste of each one, uh, really uh, tasty. You are there with me here in the Muslim district in Xi'an, China. Right on this uh, busy intersection here. A lot of traffic here. I just live in the area. My, the place I'm staying at is just around the corner. I think pick up maybe two or three of these. So I was here yesterday. Pretty quick to make these biscuits. They were really uh, tasty. Different wall, different angle here. 
Well, this is what the oven looks like. It's actually a um, trash can with a um, coal burning heat on the top here. So I'm getting one of these uh, hot out of the oven. I hope you understand what I'm saying. Okay. Okay, you Huh? Okay, you Ah, okay. 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 Uh, uh, two Okay, well, you 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 It's got sugar in it. Uh, similar to the one I had yesterday, except this one has uh, sugar and it's got a chewy uh, texture. Uh, slightly crispy on the outside. So, this is right in the Muslim district. They serve a lot of lamb, it's always cut fresh every day. We just have some of that uh, nice lamb, it's really tasty. Lots of flavor. How sure? Yeah, well, what's your lamb? Or Li Mian Chir lamb? How sure? How sure? I'm gonna give this uh, lamb a try. Mmm. Lots of flavor in that lamb. Mmm. Lots of flavor there with the. Uh, it's got uh, seaweed in there. So my mom uses uh, seaweed in her, in her cooking, but this has seaweed in the wonton soup. Oh, that looks good. Ah, that looks good. That's come on. First you tear the bread into small pieces. Then the server will take it to the uh, chef, and the chef will make the soup for you. The uh, bread is very dense. It's uh, this actually the densest bread I've ever seen. Tear the bread into big chunks here. The bread is very dense, so you have to really use your fingers to tear it. So I got big pieces in there. This is called pao mo. Uh, I think it means bubbles. So this is a very popular dish here in the Muslim district. Muslims, uh, they intermarried with uh, Chinese uh, many centuries ago. So it's a unique kind of Chinese food here. The uh, chef adds the broth and then the uh, flavoring and then some flavoring. So I heard this is the best place here for palm oil. Uh, the best place uh, recommended in uh, Muslim oil. the fat off the uh, surface with the ingredients. So this uh, cooking is done with a coal fired stove. So it's really uh, hot. So even when you finish your soup, the uh, soup is still pretty hot. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> so I'm shooting a uh, picture of somebody and he's shooting at me. <laughs> That's pretty good. So the guy was just uh, taking my picture and I was taking a video of him. So that's funny. And add some final spices there. Oh, that looks good. Ah, oh, that looks good. That's come on. Sesame. So there it is, nice big bowl of palmo lamb bread soup. So the bread that I tore up is a lot bigger than the way other people would tear it up. That's really dense bread. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah, Super tasty. So you get the nice uh, vermicelli in the bottom. You get the big bread chunks. And you get the uh, nice pieces of lamb going on. So. Oh, 
在叫什么？我不认识他。Styles are making uh, Jim Bing. So this one, they pre-make the uh, dough and make the grill. Some people use the uh, liquid batter. Well, there's no order for four right now. So, so the first put the green onions, lettuce, and uh, Chinese radish. Uh, and you get beans eggs too. So well, this is really good. It's got a soft uh, crust. Uh, it's got a soft uh, texture. So we're just going through the back alleys. And... I'm always in search of great food. And you never know what's coming around the corner. What's in the alleyways. What's in the hole in the wall. I'm ready to be surprised. It's a different kind of chow mein. The noodles are a little thicker. It's a little bit heavier, but uh, really delicious. I can't eat as much of this noodle as the regular noodles, the chow mein noodles, because they're quite heavy. And I think the spices are a little bit different. Kind of so using a charcoal stove here, which is really different. I think the heat is quite intense in there. Get a good sear as well. So I would call this the firewalk. Uh, excellent, excellent way of cooking. No. So they cook the vegetables first and then the noodles are going there. That's really nice. Yes, <laughs> Oh, that's nice. I just had the noodles, so I know what it tastes like. It's really delicious. There's a fire going with the noodles. This is a fire here. Hmm? So I'm having these uh, noodles here. It's got the uh, egg omelet on top of it for about two dollars Canadian. At one of these uh, street food uh, outlets here in uh, Muslim quarters in Xi'an. This area in Xi'an, they like to use uh, cumin and other spices in their cooking, so it's a very distinctive flavor. 
uh, really a uh, very tasty flavor. So I'm having some uh, really good noodles here in uh, Xi'an. That's really tasty. It's got a different kind of texture. The noodles are a little denser. But with the cumin and other flavors in there. I mean, I could eat this all day. So he uses a uh, charcoal stove. Brings up a lot of heat. Really uh, good. Really gives the food a good sear. Let's try rice. Right. Let's try rice. Right. So the spice is a little bit different from what we used to. And the flavor is a little bit different. I think it's got lemon flavor in there somewhere. So it's really delicious. Back to your head, you the Carbon smoke flavor. When you use the carbon So this is a stir fried rice with uh, egg omelet on top. So uh, it's a really nice looking uh, dish here. So the rice is really nice. Uh, the egg topping on top. So I'm gonna give this a try as well. Mmm. It's really tasty. Uh, different kind of flavor though. I think it's got lemon or something in there. It's really tasty but different. Oh, Wow. And the other side goes on the wall. I had some of this in uh, Shanghai, but this is uh, a real whole stone. Fresh out of the oven here. On one of the side streets here in the Muslim Quarter. Was dying to bread. Fresh out of the oven. Mm, that's nice. Freshly made. Got the sesame seeds. Nice and chewy. Slightly crusty. You are there with me eating bread here in the Muslim quarters in Xi'an, China.